Yeah, um, you know, we got a lot of young guys last year who are, you know, they got um, that experience under them. So just being able to try to help them also become leaders now that they're experienced, like letting them know that they're not just young guys now, that they're experienced in helping these new freshmen um, and, you know, just trying to keep that chain rolling so that once us older guys are gone, they can um, do the same job. Yeah, I mean, when you're a freshman, you're not really used to it. You know, you come in, you got a lot of older guys and things. But um, when you play, uh, you kind of have to be more vocal. You know, you have that experience. You need to help um, even older guys. You know, if you're a younger guy, but you have something to say, you can't be afraid to say it, especially. So that's the biggest thing probably for those guys is they're not used to it because they were freshmen last year. But, you know, they're catching on and uh, being more vocal now. Yeah, um, well, physically, I'm up about 10 pounds um, from when I played at last season. Uh, I'm, I PR'd on almost every lift in, uh, in the weight room. And then on the field, I can, really, I can feel that extra 10 pounds, you know, just physically, you know, whether it's um, blocking a DB or, you know, just being physical at the top of the route, things like that. The, um, that extra uh, 10 pounds and all that things helps with the physicality also. So. How have you seen the rhythm improve in, like, the short Quarterback, but the wide receivers maybe knowing more where to go. Yeah. You know. um, I mean, we're trying to get to a point um, as a receiving core, I feel like we have where we know our job just like the back of our hand. So we, and then also this offseason, we've, um, it's been a point of emphasis for us to have chemistry with the quarterback. So we've been working on a lot of those short um, intermediate game. And uh, I think our chemistry is there because just because we practice it so much in the offseason. Yeah, I mean, once you get to, you know, the end of the season, you know, week eight through 12 or whatever it is, your body starts to feel it when you're playing that many reps. So with uh, with the receiving core as deep as we have, it's going to be huge because, you know, you're going to be able to be 100% every snap. And uh, every week, your body's not going to be as beat down just because, um, you know, we got other guys on the team that can take a load off you um, reps-wise. So it's, it's big in terms of that uh, with how many receivers we have. Yeah, um, I think uh, that's a huge thing in our room. There's so much competition that uh, you can just see little parts of everyone's game just going from here to here, uh, from last year to this year, just because, you know, you got a ton of dudes in that room and you know that every day at practice you got to bring your A game to be able to compete for those spots and stuff. So I think uh, each receiver is just pushing the other one um, just to be at the top of their game, really. Yeah, I mean, last year uh, I thought it was the last one, but when he decided to come back, that was huge. So now I know for sure this is our last one, you know, it was last year. So I'm um, just cherishing those moments, you know, because I know this is probably the last time we'll play together. Hey, scrimmage on Saturday. What, what, what do you want to see from the offense? What are kind of some of your big picture goals for the offense? Um, you know, just some ex those explosive plays, you know, connecting with those quarterbacks. Um, and then also just – Knowing our alignment assignment, just the little things, details, no pre-snap penalties, all those type of things. Uh, just little things that, you know, we need to uh, correct always um, before game one because you don't want game one to be the first time, you know, you go out there and experience those things. So just those little details, you know, um, of all those procedures and all that type of stuff.